Hello Collective and welcome back to the Humble Sage Tarot. Uh, we're going to start with a general reading. I meditated on the energy before I shuffled the cards and the vision that I had was of a coven or a group of people engaging in spell work, ritual work and spirit's message was they're defeated. The first, me the first card that came out was the sun in reverse. These people collective, whoever I'm speaking to, try to create this level of unhappiness for you. They try to destroy what it is you wanted to create. Destroy your life. The sun in the upright speaks of life, energy. You see, in, say, the Christian mythos, Jesus is a symbol of the sun, the light bringer. The sun doesn't depend on anybody else. The sun is the light giver, the energy giver. It is the source of energy. In other words, it is self-reliant. It takes responsibility. It has to be accountable. That's the point in life here. Life grows and develops. It's responsible for itself, its own growth, its own development. In the reverse, these people try to destroy all of that for you. Destroy your life, your light, your happiness, your truth. And Spirit said, no, that's not happening anymore. These people are being defeated. So let's have a little look at what we can find. Let's dig deep. The Three of Swords in reverse. Exactly. They're being defeated. And whoever I'm speaking to, Collective, you're healing. Whatever they try to do, you're healing from it. You're coming out of that state of unhealedness. Something here about a Queen of Wands? Who's stuck? See this? A Queen of Wands who's stuck. Some Queen of Wands here who was perhaps trying to portray themselves as being a Queen of Wands. Someone vibrant, attractive, creative. You see here with the sunflower and the sunflower here. It's like this person tried to portray themselves as being a part of this world, but now it's seen that they're not. They were never real in the first place. Whoever these people are, this Queen of Wands could be symbolic of a whole coven, or it could be one person, the leader. Because whoever I'm speaking to, Collective, you're coming out of this state of pain and heartbreak that this individual caused, well, now they're stuck because they have no new beginning. They don't know what to do. They don't know how to move forward. And that's what happens when you conduct yourself in that way and you want to try to destroy other people in their lives. You know, everyone should stay in their line and get on with life. The Five of Pentacles, exactly. This person is left now in a state of loss. They have no way to move forward. Yeah. This group are being defeated. They're no longer celebrated. There's nothing for them to celebrate. There is no abundance. There is no cornucopia for them. They've left themselves in a state of lack because they were coming after people that did them no harm. They try to destroy other people's lives for their own gain. Let's keep going. Spirit, let's keep going. Let's have a look. <laughs> and they get no wish fulfillment either. They try to destroy somebody else's wish fulfillment, somebody else's celebrations. That's what they wished for them. Well, now that's what they're getting back. That's what you put out into the universe. You want to put pain and trauma in other people's lives in the universe? That is what will come back around for you. People are going to be, behave abhorrently. And we all atone for things that we've done. Nobody's above it. When you go through life purposely trying to destroy other people, other people's happiness, mm, you know, you've got to be one broken, unhealed person in order to behave like that. So, you know, let people do what they do. <laughs> yeah. This person thought they were ruling your world collective whoever this is they thought that they had you ruled that they turned your world upside down and had you under their thumb oh no 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 no, no collective ah, this coven's destroyed and here it is with the queen of wands here it's clear to see that this was some faction this was some group or something like that where they try to destroy other people yeah they try to destroy somebody else's abundance they try to take it but that's not happening anymore. What's actually happening now is 
less abundance is coming to you, collective, whoever I'm speaking to. The universe is balancing that out. And here we have the magician. Yeah. Whoever these people are, okay, look at this. Whoever these people are, what it looks like here is they try to create some sort of financial imbalance or they did spell work on your finances so that you were left in a state of lack. But actually, the universe has balanced that out by keeping them stuck and helping you to manifest your way forward. And they have no self-actualization and they have no wish fulfillment because they decided to try to destroy somebody else. That's sad, really. That's really, really sad. Oh, well. Everyone goes through their Saturnian return. Yeah. Uh, judgment's being called here. And they beat Spirit has put these people on blast. Spirit's put these people on the naughty step, is what it feels like here, with the Queen of Wands, the Three of Pentacles in reverse, and then the Four of Swords. Yeah, Spirit's put these people in a situation that they can't get out of. Now look at this. The High Priestess in reverse. This person was not a real High Priestess. They were some wannabe, some... Well, you know, some dabbler, some whatever... They thought they were hard because they could pick up a candle. Oh, bless their heart. Everyone thinks they're tough behind a keyboard. Everyone thinks they're tough in the dark hours of the night. But the universe sees everything. Spirit divine sees everything. So this has created a huge tower for them. And the devil has come to collect. They're not getting wish fulfillment as they thought they were. They thought they played everybody. They thought they were so slick behind the scenes with their spell work. Oh, no, sorry. They're not getting this. They're not getting dynastic wealth. They're not getting this level of stability because this is also wisdom, right? It's like almost like a lack of wisdom. Like they try to misguide people as if they were the ones with the wisdom when in actual fact, they weren't. And now that's been seen, that's the tower. This is Scorpionic and Aries energy. This is the, the lightning bolt of Mars blasting that crown chakra. These people are flying out of whatever construct they try to create to take other people down. It's being destroyed. Uh oh. Well, you know, never mind. Everyone should just stay in their lane. But no. Page of Swords in reverse, yeah. This person perhaps didn't know how to manifest. Like, this to me is hermetics, how do thoughts become things? It can also be spying, but in the reverse, it's like this person didn't know how to manifest. And they utilized. Perhaps they utilize their power of vision or perhaps they have observational skills in their occupation or something like that, where they had access to a computer or records or something. Does this can also be records? It's like they have had that power taken from them and they were misguided. Indeed, they may have misguided themselves. Yeah, the Seven of Swords. This deceit. With, the, with this Queen of Wands, this is another person. Yeah. This is another female entity or another feminine entity. Somebody that may, it may, it may be a male, but this, this is somebody who carries this Queen of Swords energy. But with the Seven of Swords on one side, with the Page of Swords, the Seven of Swords, the Queen of Swords, and then the Hierophant in reverse, this is somebody else who was also engaging in dark magic or something like that, where they were trying to hold people back. Perhaps they were trying to make out to people like they were holy or they were divine, like they were a divine being. Maybe they tried to make out to people like they were speaking the truth or that they were wise in that sense, as if they had the cold, hard truth. But actually, no, it's been seen that they lied. Look at this. It's been seen by others. that Whatever they tried to create, it's been destroyed. That they were deceitful. They lied. The high priestess in reverse, even. Here we have the Knight of Pentacles. This Knight of Pentacles here in reverse is that they've been made stagnant. They've literally been put on a lofty step by the spirit. With the Six of Swords, they're not going anywhere. They can't run away from this. Mm -mm. Final card out collective. The Four of Cups in reverse, yeah. The outcome is no longer stagnant, safe for whoever I'm speaking to. And these people are not being given a cup of love from the universe because they try to take it from somebody else. Interesting. Spirit, give me a couple of cards and show me how do we get to this position. 
the ace of swords, the truth. Yeah, the truth came out. The truth came out here with death in reverse. There is no development for them. But the truth came out. Death in reverse for me can literally mean death. So if anybody's going through that, I'm sorry. But the ace of swords, death in reverse and the chariot, something's being made right here. Or was made right, and that's what caused this huge kerfuffle. Uh, and the Queen of Cups here, in reverse, just fell on top of the Queen of Swords. Another entity? Another person? Yeah. To try to attack this happiness, this happy home. This this can be a twin flame or a soulmate card. It can also be a rite of passage. It's like, yeah, exactly. You see this? This Queen of Swords is now being seen for who they truly are. They were not a truth speaker. They were not somebody who was encouraging and tried to give others wisdom. They were actually a queen of cups out in reverse the entire time. A bitter, cold person. Somebody who manipulated people with their emotions. Who manipulated people with their, maybe batting their eyelids. It could be male or female, masculine or feminine energy. But most definitely this is someone who was capable of pulling the wool over other people's eyes with their meekness perhaps their emotion and try to make out in some way that oh they're so innocent please now everybody can see straight through them and that for the outcome we've got the lovers nice for the queen of pentacles have a look one more spirit and the ace of pentacles in reverse yeah what this feels like here is, see this? It's almost like the pentacle is falling into this entity's lap. The gift. The universe is saying that, you know, this can still come together. If it, these people, if this is you collective, where these people try to stop your love life or something that you truly believed in, because this used to be the choice card. So it can be that they try to block your choices in life. No? Or maybe it's someone connected to you. They try to block that too. It's not happening. The universe is still bringing gifts to these two entities. The gift of life and love. And people, some people try to destroy that. Wow. Let's close up the reading collective. Let's get some advice from... Wow, new location came out. Nice, nice. Looks like collective are on the move. This could also be new location, could literally be your healing. It can be that your emotional state is healed and that's what's blocking this negativity out from whatever they try to do to you, blocking out their spell work because when you become in a higher vibrational state, their lower vibrational magics don't work on higher vibrational people, only on lower vibrational people. So once you ascend and you see through it, you've just taken their power away from them. They don't have power over you anymore. So this new location here with laughter says to me, it's a new state of mind, you know? Bring happiness into life and kindness. Exactly. Combat their evil with kindness. And that's what narcissists and people like that don't like. They don't like that you overcome their nonsense. They don't have power when you let it go. They have no power over you. Oh, somebody wants to be seen. Yeah, honoring your true feelings. Your true feelings are not to be bitter or angry or resentful. No, you're just giving them power. Take your power back. Be strong collective. Don't be controlled by people who want to try to control you and damage you and use you. No. How dare they? You stand up for yourself, collective. That's our reading for this evening, Collective. I hope you enjoyed. If you would like to have a personal reading with me, I've put my details in the description box below. And if you would like to join us on Instagram or Facebook, I put the details for that below. It'd be awesome to have you to join the conversation. Take care, Collective.